It's not a, it's not an easy, easy way to make a living. However, it, it's something that if you enjoy it. Why well, that makes it, makes it work too. I always enjoy harvest. Probably it's the most enjoyable time. Planting is real challenging uh, because you're dealing with a lot of variables, and that's the, that, that point of the process is when you enable yourself to profit is by having good stands of corn, weed tree, and fertilized right. Yeah, I shouldn't say this, but I've told the boys get a good job in town if you want to farm. It's a high capital of uh, operations most most farms are it's it's uh, can be a challenge to, to start out that's for sure a lot of hard work and uh, I guess if, if, you, if you can sit down and push the pencil to see what you can make it well, I go for it but, uh, it, it can be real difficult well I think the rural life has changed a lot uh, growing up uh, you know, we exchanged help with neighbors. And the farmer, although he plows alone, is not alone. His life is tied in with the lives of many others, and he in turn depends on all of us. Definitely can do, one person can do a lot more work than he did in the 50s, that's for sure. Our largest tractor was about 45 horsepower, and we thought that was real nice, you know plenty of power, but today we have our largest tractor is about 300 cam horsepower. Of course, that, that tractor back in 59 was about $4,000, and the one today is 200 plus thousand. It has to be more productive to justify it. The tractors are, you know, intensely used in, you know, row crop production, and uh, planting and harvesting the crops, you know, along with the combines, of course. The combines have gotten bigger and, and uh, farmers, as farmers, have grown also. And I think they're kind of going through the changing of the guard right at the moment. You know, I'm almost 50. I started in this business when I was about 19. A lot of the guys that I dealt with, you know, when I first started out in this business are, are retired and they're gone and their uh, sons or neighbors have taken over their farms. And, so those are the you know those are kind of the bread and butter guys that are buying that kind of equipment. And all of our new 30 series tractors that come out of the factory are uh, auto track ready. And basically, you just take a computer screen and a GPS receiver, plug plug it in, and it works. You make a pass across the field, and you record that as an AB line. You turn around the other end of the field, you hit a button, and and the tractor driving itself. The GPS allows you to work longer hours and actually be more accurate in the, in the trips back and forth across the field. The main benefit would be a, a increase in productivity um, and efficiency. You're always uh, striving to, to make more profit the system we have is, is a modular system and it can move from the combine to the tractor. And then when you plant it, you enter the, uh, the, the data is uh, being saved as you plant. So you can program like, what the weather's like, what the conditions of the ground are like. So then when you come back and you harvest, the monitor has saved that data by GPS location. So it automatically changes the settings for when you pick, so then you, you, you know, okay, well this variety's performing this way. And uh, we put 
X number more pounds of fertilizer on this, and this is performing this way. Harvest, and then as you're harvesting, it, it's telling you what your yield is per that position in the field. And then you come back here and you can download it, layer that data, and you can you, know, you learn every year something different. Talking with John Deere, they've been really surprised with the the auto steer, especially the universal, they didn't think it was going to be that big of a, as big of a, of a seller as it has been for them, but they're just overwhelmed with the, uh, you know, the people that are buying it and using it. Well, actually, we've had, uh, you know, in the last three years, probably record sales. You know, the farm economy in Iowa and, you know, in the Midwest is, is thriving. I would expect to see uh, further consolidation. Equipment that's available today can cover more acres, and that's that's going to be ongoing. I think you, know, you have to be uh, prudent and well managed to survive. It.